to create a sub event you can create any event I will create an every tick event and you can slide it underneath it's a bit twitchy sometimes it's a uh, you have to uh, follow the, the black line you have here. Here I can create a sub event here, create a little uh, arrow shape here, sub event. Sometimes it drives me a bit crazy because uh, <laughs> you have to be very precise, but uh, it's working okay. It's working okay. So yeah, restart layout, checkpoint past equal uh, 1. Yeah, yeah, Gibran, it's, uh, there's something to, um, yeah, I will, I will do you a little tutorial, uh, I will make a little tutorial on moving events. Uh, what you want to do when you move events around, you want to take them by their tip here, always. If you, if you go inside the event, you will take the condition, and you will move the condition. What you want to do is mm, is to take the, the all the events and move it around. And often, uh, when I want to um, to nest this event under another event like that, and sometimes uh, I don't like the the imprecision. Sometimes I will do that. I will do it here, and then I will move it around here. Just for, uh, just for uh, to avoid to to, to make it faster. Um, now, and, uh, a little uh, shortcut you may like is the B shortcut. If you are on an event and you type B, you create a blank sub event. I use that all the time, and then I can move it around. Since it has no condition in it, I can move it around uh, even by taking it uh, here. Uh, anywhere and in, uh, in the box so here I want to create a new event a new sub event and put the start of layout here I think even if I put here this one will uh, work but anyway I prefer for readability and uh, logic first I check if not if we are uh, after the checkpoint and then I flip my uh, global uh, variable and then I restart one thing I didn't talk about um, concerning global variables is that th they are persistent which means when I restart the layout this state will be kept everything will be reset but global variables and global object as well we don't need global objects for now. <laughs> I won't talk about global objects. But global variables, they, are res they aren't reset when you restart the layout. So when I said earlier that restart layout is the same as starting the game, it's not exactly right. So, okay, we passed the checkpoint. We will check now uh, if this thing works well yeah we can check that now we will want to do something at start of layout we want to position our player if the checkpoint passed one but for now we'll just check if the checkpoint has passed to one or not i can just write checkpoint passed in the text box okay so that here I will comment okay that's weird because that's weird checkpoint passed equals zero why do you not write that that's weird I should write zero unless unless I have to do that Okay, little thing I have to explain here. This is a number. The text box wants a string. In many cases, 
the conversion is done. In many cases, a number is, converting to a, is converted to a string when you use something that needs a string. And sometimes it doesn't. It isn't. And you need the, the little function called str for string. str and between parentheses, you put your string. I, exactly like that. Uh, if I put the this, oh, <laughs> yeah, more uh, what Kiat said, I will write checkpoint past, and that's not what I want. Checkpoint past. I want the value, not the name of the variable. So it's the right way to do it. So now, let's die. If I die here, I, had, I have passed the checkpoint. The checkpoint is right in the middle here. I'm dying, and the checkpoint is fine. If I'm dying here, now let's say I die here. It's still one, because I don't have the condition if x is before checkpoint to zero, and I don't want that. Once I pass the checkpoint, I don't want the game. If I go back to the to uh, the um, the beginning of the level, I check. Uh, I still have my checkpoint. So uh, that condition is okay. So we can die if we die. Uh, we didn't test to die if we die before the checkpoint. It's still at zero. If I die. Before the checkpoint is at zero, so if I die after the checkpoint, it's at one. So it's what we want. So now we can do on start of layout, we can check this variable. As I said earlier, we, you want a condition here. As I said earlier, if the condition you want doesn't concern an object type here, it's probably in the system. Uh, in the system object and you have compare variable global or local I uh, will talk about local variable another time checkpoint passed you will check if it's equal to one if it's equal to one you will want to put the player on the checkpoint player set position to another object checkpoint Done. And now uh, we want first to go back to a starting position here. Okay, so here we die. We go back to our starting position. Now we go through the level. Here we die after the checkpoint and we go back to the checkpoint. So we have, in a nutshell, our checkpoint system. Do everyone have a question about that? Something that is not clear? Nothing uh, specifically. Okay, all good, all good, okay. Let's see what I had in, uh, in my uh, little program. Scrolling, level. So we start, we have started to cover variables. That's quite nice. We still have 40 minutes. It's going quite fast. Okay. We have basic system. What? So I can use this time to to kind of I don't know talk about uh, some stuff I like to yeah one thing I wanted to talk about is prototyping ah good question Ben Dahan with this system we can somehow. <laughs> But it's 
it will uh, make things a little bit complicated. So since we are in time, I will talk about these uh, prototyping things first. But since we are in time uh, with our uh, schedule, I can try to uh, answer uh, directly Bendahan uh, question. Yeah, yeah, Fuzirat, you, you, you have the right mindset for, for this problem. How to pick the specific instance? I will answer that. Uh, I will try to answer that today. But first, I just want to say prototyping. When you have an idea and you want to uh, test it, um, you want to um, constructor is the the dream tool for that. You get the idea. Uh, uh, I'm explaining to you how to make the platformer, but it's something that takes me uh, 10 minutes to do that, maybe less. So it's super, super, super fast. And uh, you can uh, do uh, stuff really uh, weird. <laughs> I will show you a little example. I will even uh, give you the, the link if you want. Uh, I will show you a little example of a platformer test I did not long ago. Uh, uh, copy link. Uh, okay, so this is uh, and the link. I will just show you directly here. And the oh, download no. It's loading for now. Let it load. So, what I want to say about prototyping is. Don't put your graphics too early. That's super important. That's only my uh, my uh, my uh, my take on it. But if you start putting graphics early, you will create some problem you don't want to solve early. The main um, problem goes with animation and interaction between graphics, uh, visual feedback, and your game. You want to keep it simple as long as you can, so you can easily change things. And when you have a workable prototype, it's easier to put graphic on it, really easier. Because, uh, for instance, you want to put the animation of the character here. And you want to do it now. You are really uh, you like your game. You want to put the graphics here already. So you will do some animation, or you will take on the internet, or you will uh, you will do uh, what you whatever you can to make some animation, and you will put it in the on the character, and it will run fast, and it will run fine, not fast but fine. Okay, but at some point you will look at your game. And you will, uh, that's the example I will show you. And you will say, oh, this character is too slow. It's not reactive enough. Oh, I want it to jump higher, faster. I want it to, to do this or that. I want it to crawl. I want it to, uh, to do some special stuff. And you notice your graphics uh, uh, doesn't work really well with this ID. So you will have to change your graphics. And it's uh, graphics. It's a long thing to make. The other thing with uh, prototyping with just this simple block is that they are fast to make. And if you're not uh, the artist kind, you can show something to artists and tell them, "Do you want to work with me on this?" If you manage to make a game good enough. In prototype, you should be able to find people motivated. Anyway, that's the prototype, uh, and I will continue to uh, when we'll talk about uh, animation in week three. I will continue to talk about uh, this process of using simple shapes, simple collision, simple uh, simple assets to to make. Anyway, 
Now for the checkpoints.